All right, Relic Runers, here we go. This is Restless Weld. I want to thank PlayStation for providing me this review code. Now, I'm going to show you this rune, how to do it. First, you need to look at the address on the side of the building. It used to read 1923. Of course, now it reads 16. Flip the 6 around. So that's the door code, 1923. Just kind of put that in the back of your mind. First thing we're going to do here, though, is go find this cart, this train cart, and we're going to push it. Right now, it's on a curved piece of track, and we're going to push it back switch the track to straight and then it'll go to a different location and this is about as far as you need to go so i'm going to go ahead and flip the switch now at this point just get behind the cart and push it straight until it can't go any further All right, our stop is just ahead. Once we stop, we're gonna get on top of this cart, climb up to the building, and then climb the rope, or walk along the top of the rope, rather, to the next section of the building. And up there is going to be the key to the door that we need to access. How do I get in there? Okay. All right, so there's the key. Now, if you look to the left, there's a ladder. You can shoot it. You can platform to get up to the ladder from down below, or you can just jump and glide. Save you some time. That is just a collectible. There's no important information in there. There's no door code because we already got that. We're gonna insert the key. There we go. Of course, the door won't open just yet. You need to actually enter the code. And again, it is one nine two three. Maybe something around here can help. There we go. All right, so now I'm going to jump and oh, I hit my head. One thing I learned about this jump is you got to jump as late as possible. I left this little error in just because I know most of you are going to probably hit your head on the same thing. Or perhaps not because you followed my advice. There we go. Now we're going to slide down into this next section. This is where the ornament is located, but we have to use this fire gleam, ignite it. And then I'm sure you kind of guessed by now what's next, but we're going to have to go back outside, push the train cart onto the curved track, and then push it into that room. So we'll give it a moment here to do that. I also realize pulling it with the pull caster is not any faster. But I tried. Some of you out there are wanting to know, and we have the answer. There we go, just push it the right way. Okay, change the track once again. And it'll now follow the curved track through the fire gleam hole that we created we're going to push this to uh well to the end and then jump up over to where the ornament is located just keep pushing it until it stops okay. all right now we're gonna i don't know why i jumped on the left side here we're gonna jump up to the other side. Shimmy around and then hit the triangle button to do a back jump, and there's the ornament. Made it. If this video assisted you in getting okay, this ornament, please let me know by hitting the like button, and of course, if you're a trophy owner, subscribe.